Your Gulf Coast Weather Authority uh, has a mixed bag of things coming our way. John Dawson with a first look. JD, I woke up this morning and I heard and I saw the lightning and the thunder and then it passed. Yeah, well, so you missed out on it then. You yes. didn't get any rain. Well, I got a little bit of rain at my house this morning. I thought you were going to talk about some rain, but the other folks around the area have had some heavy downpours today. That's kind of been the sort of theme. It's been hit or miss for sure. Uh, sort of the bigger picture that we find ourselves in some upper level dynamics really just kind of funneling in a lot of moisture from the Gulf. The heaviest of the rain for today is to the east of us, more in the Louisiana area is where we're seeing that rain kind of get lined up. So we'll kind of talk about now and a few sort of bigger picture ideas. You'll notice when we get into Monday, Monday, uh, we are going to be looking and I'm going to go into more detail here in just a minute, but the possibilities of some flooding definitely taking place because of the heavy rainfall. But in the sort of extended time period of things, we're talking Monday through Wednesday, probably a little bit longer. You'll notice in the seven day forecast in a minute, we are looking at three to five inches. Again, that's Monday through Wednesday. That's going to lead to a few problems. Some of that isolated flooding on some streets and those low lying areas that we're kind of used to. But with all the extra rain, that is going to lead to some temperatures that are a little bit on the cooler side. So here's what we're looking at as far as our modeling goes. We talk about those three to five inches. We don't need to get too focused exactly where these areas are. Perhaps our northern counties, though, catching a little bit more rain overall. This is more the five inch range in the red. This orange here is more than two to four inches, but really that's kind of could sort of move around and really impact any of us when we're looking at that longer picture. I talked about the folks over in Louisiana getting more rain today. This is the flash flood risk for today. We shift and looked at tomorrow. You see that sort of creeping a little bit more into the Houston area, and that's still what this referred to as a marginal risk or a one out of four. When we get into Monday, though, that's when things increase. Increase. This is the two out of four risk here with the yellow shading that catches our northwestern counties and then all of the Fox 26 viewing area under that one out of four area risk. So just going to be aware as we get into the week, we're certainly going to be adding up some inches of rain and that could create some problems. We won't be seeing as warm of temperatures. So these heat index values, these feels like temperatures will also be a bit lower. And even right now we're down to 89 degrees. And so that means the feels like temperature not in the 100s, but we've certainly been there at times today for today's rain and even for tomorrow. There's a little bit of a boundary here. That's a weak front that's sort of lingering around. This is probably be more accurate to be drawn in more as a stationary front than an actual cold front. But we do expect with that daytime heating tomorrow, like we saw today to see a few more of those showers popping off. This was a little bit further to the south today, so that's where we saw those heavier downpours might be a little bit further inland for tomorrow. As far as the rain chances, put some numbers to it. I'll say 50% chance of rain for tomorrow. We'll bump that up to at least 80, probably even going to have to when we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe even move those up a little bit more with the confidence and the amount of rain that we're going to receive. But you'll notice at least the 50% chance for the whole seven day forecast. Next weekend will look like some more showers and storms across Southeast Texas as well.